Hi, everybody. Evening, everybody. It's Sarah and Manning. It must be Wednesday. Um, first of all, I want to send everybody in um, the States a uh, big um, energy boost down there because I know that some of you, uh, for example, the produ our producers are dealing with the big storm down there. I know that it's a hurricane and I think I saw something about it being downgraded. Thank goodness. Knock on wood. Everybody's safe. I have a wooden table, so I just knocked on the wood. So, um, so yeah, I am good to go, ready for anybody that would like to call in and have a free reading with me. Um, I did post the link or anybody that's familiar with A1R Radio Network and Windstruck TV, um, call in. I'm super excited to chat with you. Um, uh, let's see, what was I going to tell you? Oh, I was going to tell you a little bit something about me because I love my producer. He's amazing um, and everything. But I'm like, I'm super energetic. I talk really fast. So um, he's always so sweet and being like, it's okay, just breathe. And I feel bad because I'm telling him this live versus telling him when I have a chance to talk with him <laughs> before the show. Um, but we're always so on the ball, right? So I talk really fast. I'm super energetic. And that's just who I am. If you see any of my Facebook feeds or anything like that, this is how it is. Super, like, just super fast and just like, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> and I, but I do try to get the messages across um, lovingly and clearly as possible. So I hope you're all having a great day. Um, I certainly am. I had an amazing experience. Um, I know I talked about these journals that I do last week, but I was doing one today and it was absolutely amazing. I cannot wait for my client to get this journal. Um, every, so even though I've been practicing, um, uh, I've been practicing full-time medium and psychic for the past four years, it doesn't mean that I'm not still experiencing growth or not experiencing changes. Um, for example, my amazing, um, uh, my amazing connection today with the guide of my client, it was absolutely incredible. Like the flashes he was showing me. Um, th now, usually, so usually when I do this journal, I have the first page of me like, thanking the client for trusting me to for ordering it to pass on the messages that they need to hear. Um, and I remind them, you know, use this journal, read it whenever you feel the need to whenever it pops in your head, because there's a message in there that will pop out. But lately, I think the past like four journals I've done, I've been able to introduce the guide's name to the client that's reading it, which is super exciting, right? I love that. Um, I've never claimed to be able to go, oh, I can I can introduce you to your client or to your um, guide. I can tell you their name. I can tell you all this really cool stuff about them. I would just pass on messages. Well, now that's changing. Now I'm actually um, giving, um, giving, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> all these little pop-ups always distract me, which is totally fine. That's my own problem. Anyways, um, pop-ups like spirit, right? So so now I'm actually getting names of spirit uh, guides and I'm able to pass them. But today it was such a cool, cool experience because I not only got the name, but I saw this guide. I was able to, I even felt their attitude, their energy. And there were so many amazing messages to pass on to this client. I actually had to cut it down a little bit because I was just like writing so much and I have to keep it fair for everybody. So I love these journals. If ever you're interested in um, connecting with your guide or understanding, you, I always um, say that uh, it's like a personalized letter from your guide to you that I get to pass on. And it's so much fun. I love doing these journals. They're great. Um, I, I am running out. So if ever you're interested, time to get on it. I can do it through my website. But I just love the opportunity of connecting people um, because, um, um, oh, thank you. Uh, I, <laughs> I agree. I love my producer. I have to, I still, sorry, you guys, I'm still learning all of this, like still talking while getting, you know, reading from messages and doing all this. Stuff. I'm still practicing. So, well, I'm not practicing, but I'm still getting, getting there. So, um, so I'm super excited about this, but yeah, these journals, I love them. They're so much fun. And I love being able So I think the life changing thing for me was, um, that actually the whole turning point for me, actually believing in spirit and energy and everything because I didn't grow up believing, I was like, oh, what a bunch of hooey, um, was I, I actually made physical contact with my guide where I was like, okay, fine. 
if there really is energy out there and some guide that's helping me, I want them to make me feel their presence. And I literally laid on the floor and I literally, I can't, I, I felt somebody touch me right like in my heart area. And I was like, I like shot up and the feeling went away and I was like, okay, that was just my head. I was like, okay, if that was you do it again, exact same spot, exact same feeling. It was absolutely incredible. So anytime I get to introduce people to their guides or show them that they have guides that, and they're not walking on this in this lifetime on their own is like the most exciting thing for me. I love doing that, but we got to move on. Cause I see we have a caller and I'm super stoked because it's Anastasia in Alice Springs, Northern Territory. Hi, Anastasia. Hi. Do you know, I have to tell you, my middle name is Stasha, and it is spelt exactly like yours, except for I don't have the A and A at the, at the beginning of my name. Oh, wow. That is so cool. I've never met another Stasha or Ana Anastasia before. I think that is so awesome. So thank you so much for calling in. No worries. That's awesome. Um, how how are things in Australia? Sorry. How are things in Australia? Um, it's good. Oh, good. I'm so glad to hear that. That's awesome. <laughs> I think we have a little bit of a delay just because of distance. Ooh, I got a card for yep. you already. So I'm. <laughs> awesome. I have a card for you already. Um, it's called Adjacent Possibilities. And what I love about this card is um, that I keep loving the fact that it's adjacent possibilities. It's not like one versus the other or one opportunity versus the other. Um, but what this card tells me is like, I feel like you have a lot of passions and you're just not quite sure which one to follow or which one to actually bring into your life right now. Would, would that make sense? Yes. Awesome. Okay. Here's what I'm going to tell you. And I know that this is this, I, I'm like, oh, she's really busy. You're a really busy lady already. Is that right? Yes. I'm always busy. <laughs> okay. No problem. But this is the, this, this becomes, um, I am actually hearing like, this is going to be as challenging as you decide to make it. So it's going to be either really easy or if you decide to make it challenging, it will be. But the thing about this is I actually want to tell you every one of your passions, I want to be like, schedule them in, like, rotate them. Um, cause I, and I feel like one of your passions, are you really into photography, Anastasia? Uh, yeah, I love taking photos. Okay. I feel like that is like your top passion and that needs to be developed more. But I, I, I feel like it's not just like, normal photography or like everyday life photography like I feel like you're actually adventurous where you like to go hiking or go out to places and take like scenery shots would that be right yes okay that to me is like I and I know that's a little bit more challenging because you, ha you have to travel to get to places but I'm like you need to make that like a priority for yourself at least I want to be like at least once a week but if I'm a little more practical I'm like okay well at least once a month because I think that that like I just feel like that is such a good thing for you that it's not just getting you out um outside but it's it's uh, feeding your your inner being and your inner soul and the really cool thing about passions is is they can, you can, they'll be as good as you let them be um, with the more energy that you put that you put into them. Does, does that make sense? Yes. Okay. Oh, it's just my baby. Oh, it's your baby. <laughs> okay, I wasn't yeah. sure what that was. I was like, oh, I can hear something. That's okay. No worries. <laughs> um, but I keep wanting to tell you, don't be afraid. Like, I know you have a lot of passions, but don't pick one or two and and follow them like I keep wanting to say pick as many as you want and don't feel bad if you're like well this is a passion but I haven't been able to to do it very much because I've been so busy um that's okay that's that's not gonna ever leave you it's within you and the thing with adjacent possibilities is there's not one better option over the other and I keep wanting to tell you like 
it doesn't matter what passion you choose to feed your higher self. All that matters is mm-hmm. that you're actually um, actually doing it. And there's not one that's going to be healthier, healthier for you or, you know, heal you or whatever you're looking for. They're all all excellent options for you. Um, but what's really interesting is as I was sitting here, I literally heard there's another card. Take the other card. Take the other card. I was like, oh, OK. So um, so I, I'm finding this really interesting and kind of chuckling because it's the all tied. It's um, a card called All Tied Up. And it's literally an image of a lady um, that it, or like a fairy or elemental that's like all tied up. And I'm like, oh, that's because she has so many responsibilities. And you're literally feeling like, um, how, how do I want to say this? Like, have you um, have you ever seen the cartoon, um, the Tasmanian Devil? Like the, th- the yes. cartoon that goes around? <laughs> yes. <laughs> you're feeling that way in your life right now. Would that be right? Yes, yes. Okay. And, and that's totally understandable, but here's the thing you only, we, okay. So there are 24 hours in the day. We all know that, but you have to sleep for a good chunk of that. So let's say, you know, and especially since you get a little one, it's like, I keep wanting to say, you got to sleep for about eight to nine hours because you still, you're still mm-hmm. recuperating and still like trying to store up your energy. So you take that away. Plus, you know, there's other things. So I, I keep wanting to say only a lot yourself eight hours a day, but within those eight hours, you have to stop going okay from eight in the morning till nine in the morning this is what I'm going to do from nine in the morning to ten in the morning this is what I'm going to do and like I you're scheduling yourself to the minute and not allowing any breathing room and that's what's causing you to feel like you're failing or you're not able to achieve your goals is because you're planning things to the minute I would say give yourself two or three tasks a day and just and then whatever happens happens after that but you still have to make sure to take some self-care in there. And I hear the doubt <laughs> and I know that everybody's like, but Sarah, we have all these <laughs> obligations. We have all this life stuff. But I think what we forget is that we actually have more control over our time than, than we let ourselves believe. It doesn't make you a bad person to say, no, I can't do this. Or that time frame isn't going to work for me. We have to figure something else out. Or no, my limit succeeded. This is as much as I can do in this time frame. I think we need to start needing to say no more and yet to other people or outside influences and yes more to ourselves. And I really want you to remember that. Say more yes to yourself and your goals and your ambitions than anything else. Does that make, does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> and and remember, at the beginning of this, I heard it's going to be as challenging or as easy as you believe it will be. So if you decide, no, I'm not doing this anymore, I can't, that doesn't, you know, remembering that, again, doesn't make you a bad person. Um, one of my favorite sayings that I just heard was self-care is not um, selfish. It's self-preservation. Because when we take yep. care of ourselves and when we say yes to ourselves mm-hmm. and we give everything to us, you know, we give a lot to ourselves more than giving it away. We actually in the long run have more stamina and we even have more time because we feel better. So we're able to do more. And I think that's the biggest message that I want to give to you today is remember it's okay to say no or being like, okay, well, this is my task or these are my, this is my list of tasks. Nah, you know what? This one's not so important. I'm going to put that to tomorrow. And, and there's so many sayings that are like, oh, don't put off to tomorrow what you could do today. But really your self-care and taking care of yourself is the most important thing, especially since you're a mom. Moms have the hardest job in the world because it's not nine to five. <laughs> it is 24 seven, right? So <laughs> yeah, yeah. That is the hardest thing. Do you have any questions for me at all, Anastasia? Um, I was, um, I lost my brother eight years ago. Oh, and I'm so sorry. I was told that I was the last person that he wanted to, um, that he wanted to tell me something. And okay, that's one so of the don't, don't tell me anymore. Okay, don't, what I would say is don't tell me anymore and let me um, usually have paper with me and I am really shocked at myself that I don't have paper so I can write down the messages, but that's okay. Um, I automatically, as soon as you say, brother, his passing was very um, unexpected. Would that be correct? Sorry? Yes, yes, it was. Which, okay, his passing was very unexpected. Um, okay, um, and, and 
Wow, he he must have been full of life, and um, you guys must have been really close. Because as as I connect with him, I'm getting really dizzy, but I'm getting extremely hot, which is like he's so full of energy and full of love. Would that make sense for you too? Yes. Okay. Um, and it's, uh, <laughs> oh, your little one sounds upset. <laughs> um, 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 Anastasia, I keep wanting to, um, he was older than you. Was he older than you? Um, no, younger. Okay. Did he just he, kind he of looked older? Like, <laughs> okay. He looked older. Cause I'm looking at it and I'm like, wow. Okay. What's going on here? I also keep wanting to say that yep. he was taller than you. Was he also taller than you? Yes. Yep. Okay, <laughs> perfect. So that's just me validating that it's really here, here that he's really here with us. Um, he was a pretty fit, fit guy. Would that be correct as well? Sorry? Was he a pretty fit, physically fit man as well? Um, yeah, he was always working. Yeah, busy, keeping himself busy. Okay. Um, here's, here's honestly what I get from him. And it's interesting because I'm like, I'm actually having a kind of hard time breathing with him. But he, when it comes to love, I keep wanting to tell you, you need to honor your love and not be so fearful of it and, and understand that love is actually a safe thing and that he, he loves you more than you'll ever know. And that he's always going to be with you. Do you, does that make sense? Do you understand that? Yes. Okay. So, and I, and I think it's understanding as well that, um, I keep wanting to tell you just because physically the bonds are, are, um, broken. It doesn't mean that energetically or that the love between you two is gone either. Um, I keep seeing, yep. you must be, you must love looking at the stars cause he keeps showing me stars and I keep wanting to tell you he's with you in the evenings more than any other time yep. because that's actually when you can, um, when you can notice his presence. Does that make sense? Yes. Perfect. Awesome. Well, that's everything that I have for you today, Anastasia. I'm sorry. I wish I could stay longer and chat with you, but I do have somebody else waiting. But um, I am honored. I feel very honored to have been able to pass that message on for your brother to you. The other thing that he shows me, man, he's a talker. Um, <laughs> the other thing that he wants you to know is when you're by the water, it, water is really healing for you, but it's not the ocean water. It, he shows it more as like creeks and river water. That's he's like, that's important for you because you have to remember that you have to follow your your own flow of life and not follow what's called the social norms. Does that make sense? Yes. Yes. Awesome. Yes. Perfect. Thank you so much, Anastasia. And I am sorry for the loss of your brother, but thank you so much for letting me pass those messages on to you. Thank you very much. Thanks. You're welcome. Bye. Take care. Bye. All right. And hey, we have another Sarah in the house. I am super excited to talk to, I'm excited to talk to everybody. Um, <laughs> Hi, uh, hello, Sarah from New Plymouth in New Zealand. How you doing? Hi, I'm good. Oh, it's so nice to meet you. And, and you even spell your name the same way as I do. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> That's awesome. I cannot wait to get to New Zealand. Um, I am so excited to get there one day. I'm going to. I, I, it's so beautiful. It's so beautiful over there. So my mom was in Australia and now she wants to get to New Zealand and I'm going to go with her, I think. <laughs> All right. So we have, um, the very first card I have for you is, um, the angel of love. Um, um, sir, I can actually, I just like all of a sudden I felt like a real heart. Did you, I feel like there's some heartbreak going on right now in your life. Would that be right? Yes. Yes. At the moment. Okay. Okay. And, and first of all, I want to say, I'm sorry that you're experiencing that. It's never easy when we're dealing with, um, with feeling heartbreak and stuff, but I love the fact that the angel of love is coming to you. And the very first thing I want you to know is that no matter what anybody else says, no matter what anybody else's actions are, you are a hundred percent worthy, not only of love from other people, but you need to bring that love from yourself into yourself more than anything. This isn't about you and something that you've done. This is, you're just experiencing the aftermath of other people's actions. Would that make sense? Do you understand that? Yes. Yes. No, that does make sense. Okay. So, and, and it's so hard to not put our self worth into other people, but I like, you know, because of what other people have done, but remembering that 
no matter what happens, love, you're always, always, always deserving that love. And I think whenever I keep wanting to say, when you feel like you need to look for validation outside of you or for that, um, for that love outside of yourself right now, you have to go, why am I doing this? Why am I looking for something outside of me? Oh, it's because, you know, this person taught me that I needed validation or I needed this love. I really don't. And it's better for me to, to, oh, that's interesting. I also just heard it's really important for you to do self-preservation right now, which means not allowing someone to drag you into drama with false promises and then hurt you. And then you retreat. You have to use your instincts and understand that the best indicator of uh, future behavior is past behavior. Trust your instincts. Don't let people, um, you know, manipulate you or tell you, oh, no, I'm changed or all this is different and I'll do, we'll do different. Don't listen to that. Trust your instincts and, and understand and make them prove that they've changed if they decide to come back into your life because they say they've changed. Does that make sense so far? It, it really does make sense. Okay. Um, the other thing I want to remind, um, tell you is again, as I was sitting here with you, I heard, um, I heard that it's, um, I heard to pull the other card and the other card that came up is the journey card. And I love this card as well, because it reminds us that life isn't about getting to a destination. It's not about getting love into her life or getting that good job or getting money. I mean, those are always bonuses, but that's not the destination. I think we forget that, you know, we always keep living for tomorrow and we keep thinking, okay, well, tomorrow will be better. Tomorrow will be better. But we have to remember that life is actually a journey and it's full of amazing chapters and amazing stories within that journey. And that's what makes up life, not the destination. And the other thing too, that I want to remind you is obviously whatever was going on, actually really wasn't serving you. And so instead of putting the light behind you, uh, you know, um, so I'm not sure if you can see this, but um, the card shows kind of a, a gal um, holding a lantern behind her and she's shining the light behind her. But what you need to do is instead of focusing on, well, you know, that the idea of what was, it's now important to put your energy into what you want to see out of life and what you want to draw to you. That's to me is the most important because, um, it, but that doesn't mean that, oh, oh that's interesting. <laughs> you have to be a little kinder to yourself on, on, I literally want to be like, you need to grieve and you need to understand that this is, um, like a, a process and there's stages and, and it's okay. And even though you're on the roller coaster, I have so many emotions right now. You have to take them as you, as they come and understand that this is also part of your journey and it's not going to be over in a month. It's not going to be over in necessarily a week. It's going to come in stages where you still have to mourn and you have to be like, you know, that really hurt. It really sucked. Um, but what do I need to do to move on? And again, it, it's like, it's like, an, I, th I feel like our emotions are an onion, especially when we come into big, situations, especially where there's love involved. Um, it, it's important to understand that a little layer will break open or a big layer, and then there's more layers underneath. So just be really gentle with yourself and really kind and patient with yourself and not belittle yourself just because, oh, I should be over this and this, this shouldn't be bothering me anymore. Just be like, okay, it's bothering me. It just means that I need to bring some more love and more attention into myself. Does that all make sense, Sarah? It does. It does. The roller coaster is going wild at the moment, but no, it does yeah. make sense. Okay. I'm so glad. Well, I'm glad, first of all, that it makes sense. And, and again, I'm so sorry that you're dealing with this. It's not easy. I think I, I keep hearing like extremely loud, please, please do not attach your self-worth to this entire situation. Anytime your mind starts going that way, all you need to do is be like, this is fear. This is not me. This is the fear that's talking. And I refuse to feed that fear anymore. I'm deciding to bring, to put my attention into love. And sometimes when we're dealing with heartbreak or something, you know, we can look at ourselves in the mirror and we look drained, we look exhausted and we're like, yeah, you know what? I totally see what that other person was saying and why I deserve this heartbreak. Instead of doing that, you're going to look at one thing about yourself that you're just like, I love myself for this. This is amazing. And the other thing too is um, remembering that every day you move forward, 
you are getting stronger with every step you take. And that in itself should remind you or can remind you, I am making it. Yes, it hurts. Yes, I'm on the roller coaster. Yes, it's exploded. But I keep wanting to tell you, make sure that you put yourself first. Make sure you put your desires first. And then and then that's okay, right? Like putting yourself first is important, especially when you're dealing with so much. Does that, does that help in your current Definitely. situation? Yeah. Yay! Do you have any questions for me at all, Sarah? Um, no, not really. There is, there is one, but I don't know if you'd be able to answer it or not. Um, well, try it. Um, if, if you can, I think we've got about 60 seconds left. So if you can just let me know. So I go overseas in two weeks. A week and a half, and um, going to have a major operation, major surgery. Sorry, so you're going for surgery? Sorry, I missed that. Yes, yes, I am. Oh, okay. Um, well, um, so you're just, you're worried about that? Oh, and that's the roller coaster. Okay. All I want to tell you is focus on the positive. Keep your mindset on because whatever we vibrate, that's where our attention goes to. I'm so sorry, Sarah. I wish I had more time, but I'm getting notices saying I got to wrap up. But focus no on the okay, focus on the outcome that you want to see and it'll happen. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you so much for calling. And to everybody else, thank you and have a great week. I'll see you on next Wednesday. <laughs>